Hi and welcome back. Here we are, Park to Legend. <laughs> After some of the worst form I've seen ever in Football Manager, and I mean ever, I don't think I've ever seen a run like we've just been on. But we did manage to stay in that Premier League and that was the all-important part. But today we're really going to need some of your likes some of your subscriptions and some of your comments down below because we really have got to do a transfer window from out of this world and see what we can do because we're going to need it today I think because this second season syndrome is a massive thing. Yes, we really are going to have to dig deep. We've just come off unlucky for some 13 and our inbox was 13 as well. <laughs> oh, you don't like to see it. That is horrendous. But let's start off with the season review, shall we? Now, inducted into our best 11. Renan Lodi has been put in as our left back. Yeah, I, I don't know what that says, really. The fact that he was awful or didn't play that well, but he's managed to get in. Dahoud is in. Aaron's is back in. Okay, both fullbacks who were pretty average this season are back in. The 11. Winks is in. Barlaz is in there. Dehoud. Omadamabelli. He's in there as well. Oh, I got that name off to a T now. But, you know, unbelievably, they're in. But let's go and have a look at that season review like we just promised. Yes. No trophies. First year in the Premier League. <sighs> We we stayed. So new arrivals. Oh there wasn't a lot. But I think we've got a lot of quality ish. So main sign in was Oliver Duvin at one point five million pounds, twenty games, a seven point one seven. That's nice. Podlek. A C plus there as well for our towering goalkeeper. 5.75 million. Six appearances, 7.03. Faguli, a B minus. Happy with that. Came from Juventus under 23s apparently. Okay, 10 million pounds. A 6.97, 19 starts, one off the bench, four goals. And six assists. Very good. Salai. Again, a B plus this time. Low wages, apparently. Pretty good. £17 million. Pounds, a 6.96. No goals, no assists. A B plus again for Pinzon, who comes in as that wonder kid. So, <laughs> even though it doesn't say it as his description... He's in the Wonder Kid. He was number five on the Wonder Kid list. So, again, no goals, only a couple of games. Calvacanti, a B plus again, another one. Two goals, one assist. Max Ahrens, a B, 6.72. How the hell has he got into that 11? I'll never know. <clears throat> but he's got a B. Renan Lodi, a B minus, 6.67 out of 38 starts, four assists, three goals. Uh, yeah, Ballesteros, again, another one, a 6.65, one for the future. <laughs> and Bonaldo, a B minus, so we're happy there. We're pretty happy there. Season. 
A minus. The board are delighted with the mid table position. So 12th mid table. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, fight bravely against relegation. We did rather well. So they're happy with that form there. Um, yeah. Started awful. Ended disastrously. That is. If we have got any chance of staving off second season syndrome, we've really got to sort that lot out, I tell you. FA Cup, C- minus going out in the quarterfinals, Man City. What have you got to do to please some people? I don't know. Carabao Cup, a C, going out in the fourth round to Arsenal. So, yeah, moments to remember. 5-0 win against Sheffield United, beautiful. Match to remember against West Ham, 2-0 win. Adam Ida, yes. De Hood with goal of the season. Should we go and have a little look? So against Blackpool, De Hood. So he starts off the bit of play there. Oh my word, yes, that was a good goal. Should we see it again, just so you can... So Aaron's passes it to him, gets it back from Aaron's, and what a strike. Fair enough. Fair enough. Finances. So we're still classed as a three and a half star reputation team. No new sponsorships. Nothing at all going on there. But sponsorship was up by a million and a half. Broadcast up by nearly £60 million. The difference being Premier League. It, massive. Corporate, up half a million-ish. Prize money, first time we've had prize money by the look of it, £17 million, so perfect for that. Match day, up by 400000 Shirt sales, £1.62 million. 14, nearly 14,500 shirts sold. Adam Ida, top one, Winks, Faguli, Doyle and Renan Lodi. He keeps popping up, doesn't he? <laughs> For God's sake. But Faguli, who come in to be the third best shirt sales there. I'm happy with that. Are we lined up? Yeah. That's, so, Duvin in goal. Okay. Aaron's, Ballard, Salai, Lodi, Dehoud, Winks, Simons and Doyle. Teaserless and Ida. So, yeah, not too bad there. We've got quite a few in the light greens in the seven pluses. So that's... To be a team who finished 12th in the league, you've got to be sort of happy with that. The accolades, we had nothing. So fans player of the year, commanding centre-back Daniel Ballard. Young player of the year is Duvin. Signing the season, Duvin. Goal of the season, Dehoud, yeah. Top goal scorer was Teaserless. But it wasn't just Teaserless, it was Ida. They both had 18 each. Most assists, Simons with eight. It's not a lot. Adam Ida, most man of the matches, seven. Highest average rating, Teaserless, 7.2. Salai, 85 passes completed. Any competition awards? Yes. Golden Boot goes to Adam Ida. Scored enough goals. Championship, that was last, it's last season. Irish Player of the Year, Ida. Irish Young Player of the Year, Ida. Uh, EFL. Was it, it, some of these are last year's. I don't know why they're still on here. Um, most Man of the Matches has gone into the Record Breakers 7. And Ballesteros, 18 years old in 60 days, youngest player. So, right, um, what do they want to do this year? So we want to sign players under the age of 20 for the future. Okay, work within the budget, avoid relegation. Yeah, all pretty standard. Destination. We'll sort that in a minute. We'll go through that. We'll have a little look and we'll probably come back in and around a few weeks time and just see where we are we've got a 
looking at the squad, we really do need to get another goalie, I think. And possibly another right back. Aaron's. And even Ramsey's dropped to two and a half stars. He's still got a bit of reputation or a bit of potential to go. So, yeah. Maybe another striker. Midfield seems solid. It does seem solid. Depending on which formation we go with. But we shall see. Right. Let's go and have a bit of a fun with the transfers because we still haven't had the budgets, actually. That's a good point. We'll, we'll sort that out in a minute. Right. We've gone. We're going to go to China for our training camp and we've got the budgets. Hallelujah. I don't know why on earth it's taken this long to get the budgets through. I'll never know. But like we said, what, 35 million, something like that. Might be good. 47.7 million pound budget, 1.7 million pounds wage budget. So that's not changed from what it was originally. So with the finances, where the hell have they got 47 million quid? They've only got 15 in the bank. They're obviously waiting for stuff to happen, aren't they? 15 million pound in the bank. Well, okay. At least we've got some money, 47 million. And obviously we've got money for players that are going out. So that's going to be topped right up yet. With um because they've not gone out yet, have they? So their future, their future ones. So Teaserless 27. Bar laser 5.25. He's going as well. So there's a bit of money to come in. Right, let's scoot on. So we had a few little lies to the uh, journalist. We said we're not going to have a spending spree. But we've gone and signed a player. <laughs> we've gone and signed a player. £13 million on Endrick, who... Trek Batista, False Nine, Poacher... Advanced forward, four and a half star potential, two star current ability, Brazilian, promising striker, not a wonder kid. But we, seeing that, the, the what came through with the um, club vision of sign under 18 year old, uh, under 20 year olds, I'm looking at that thinking we need 18 year old wonder kids if we can. He's dubbed as a new. Jarzinho, yeah, this boy will be a wonder kid. Fifty-three million pounds worth. We're on to a winner here, boys and girls. Right, so we've come through to the first of July, where the season clicks over, and we'll just show you what we've done. Um. Director of football's brought in this lad just to play for the reserves. Yeah, <laughs> rubbish. But we brought in, via our director of football, Ibrahim Sangara. Ibrahim Sangara. Ibrahim Sangara. He is an Ivorian coast. Ivorian? So Ivory Coast. 27 year old. Defensive ball winning midfielder. I looked at it and thought, our midfield's quality, but we haven't got a real, real battling, combative beast of a player. But we have now. He's just cost us £17.5 million from PSV. And look at him. Jump and reach a 17 strength. Uh, jump and reach a 16. Jump and reach. Blah. Spit it out, James. Come on, man. Strength 17. There it is. Teamwork 17. Work rate 17. Marking 15. Tackling 15. Mmm. Yes. I am <laughs> very, very happy with this lad. We've also ticked over. So Javi Simons is finally a Norwich player. 
four star potential, three and a half star current ability. We know all about him. He's been playing for us already. He is solid. So come the 1st of July, we are quite happy with what we've done so far. Loney gone out as well. I don't think there was anyone else who... Yes, there was. Andrew Omabamadeli has gone to Trabzanspor. He requested to move. And we got an offer straight away for 19.25 million. We could not turn that down. So he is gone. Also, Aduka has gone out on loan to... What did we send him? Sunderland. Gone out on loan for Sunderland just to try and develop him a little bit more. Playing football every week, week in, week out. He's also unhappy at the club because the contract's broke down. He's still got another three years on his deal, so I don't know what he's fussing about. But, um, in fact, what did that just say then? Touted as the next Glenn Hoddle? I didn't see that before. Aduka, the new Glenn Hoddle. Well... It's now the 10th of July. We've had lots of stuff going on, including we are upgrading our staff. We are getting there slowly. Things are starting to get much improved and we've got room to bring more people in as well. But we have brought in a couple more signings. We've also seen... Teaserless go to Lazio for £27 million. So we've spent a big old chunk of that. First of all, free transfer. Tyler Morton comes in. Free transfer, three star potential, two and a half star current ability, 22 years old. Didn't cost us anything. He's quite a tidy player looking at his ratings. Division of 16. Another one, if we sell him for five or six million. Hey ho, it could be a Roman playmaker as well. Quite fancy that. But the big one, Georgi Maradas, Mama, Mama da Dashvili, Mama, yes, Mama Dashvili comes in as a new six foot six, twenty four year old goalkeeper. Oh my word. Position of 15, reflexes 15, throwing 15, aerial reach is 17, jumping reach is 16. You would like to think we could get that passing up a little bit as well. But Georgi comes in, four star potential, three and a half star current ability, 17 million pounds, he's already worth nearly 31. Oof, we've got our new goalkeeper. I am rather excited. We said about Wonder Kid shopping. We have gone Wonder Kid shopping. Jared Lizarraga is a Mexican 18 year old central midfielder. Yeah, I know we said earlier on our central midfield is absolutely buzzing as it is. Central midfielder on attack, Oren Mazala. Oh my god. Yes. Five star potential, three star current ability. The work permit is done. And literally, here he is. I am I am literally <laughs> unbelievable. Minimum fee release clause to Champions League teams of 50 million quid. That's the only problem. And he would only sign as a regular starter. But. Oh my God. We have got a player on our hands here, boys and girls. This lad. Whew, six foot one as well. <laughs> happy days are here again. Oh, and also, dude isn't happy. He, he probably might be leaving. There's always a bit of a downside in there. You have a lovely bit of plus side. 
And then old Dahood, he's wanted as well. Who knows what's going to happen here? Well, <laughs> it just keeps getting better and better and better. Luke Mbete comes in as a six foot two central defender from Manchester City for fourteen point seven five million. Was on loan last year at Brentford, developing himself into this beast. Ball playing central defender. 15 passing, 13 vision for a central defender. And he's pretty quick as well. 13's there. So I am looking very, very happy at the moment. Um, Javier Simons has left the building for £9.5 million. Came in, went out on loan last season. Did all right. A handsome profit of £8.3 million in a season. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. And we also, we might have another Wonder Kid on the way. Yes, we said about a Wonder Kid coming. We've done a bit of a deal as well. We'll tell you about the outs at the moment. Luca has gone out on loan for the season just to get him developed having that lovely new goalkeeper in Marmadashvili we, we needed to give him football we're not going to give it to him here also Dennis Serkin gone out to Mainz for 11.75 million pounds wasn't really developing gone down to a three and a half star potential player so we're happy to cash in cost us again what was this one Cost us 7.25. We've made four and a half million on him. Lovely, lovely. Um, Michael Kabuknik has also gone for 3.1 million. We didn't buy him. We didn't like him. But we've still made money on him. 1.5 million pounds. So again, a nice deal there done. But we brought in some more players. Having sold a ton of players, Alexandro comes in as a wonder kid. We're wonder kid shopping this season. Oh my goodness me, we are going crazy. And this lad, it says he's a left back. Six foot two, jumping reaches 17, pace and acceleration, stamina. Yes, he is a left back at the moment. But when he's older, I think this boy could be a real, real top-notch central defender. Five-star potential, three-star current ability. We've had an offer as well for Lodi. So we're sort of halfway through wondering about that. But this lad, I had to have him. Paul Wanner. <laughs> Another wonder kid. Five-star potential, three-star current ability. Can play anywhere across that central area. We don't play with those sorts of players normally, but we've we've got him. <laughs> Paul Wanner, German under twenty one international. Again, very very tidy player, and I thought we had the cash, so we've done it. We've all still got other irons in the fire. But at the moment in time, we'll have to wait and see on how it goes. And like I said, with the Lodi deal, we are now ready for the first game of the season. So we'll just run through the final parts of what's going on. Zaragoza wanted Ramsey for two million quid. You, ain't, you, can, you can do one. Monaco wanted Lodi for nearly 30 million quid. Am I mad turning that down? We also looked at getting another left back to replace him in Luca Pellegrini. Now I looked at him, I thought, yes, he looks very good, doesn't he? They're only a year younger. Yeah, okay. Now if we compare him with Mr. Lodi. Where are you? Renan Lodi. So 
other than mentals and aerially, Lodi's got him absolutely everywhere. So you think, well, why would you sell Lodi? So we turned the deal down. We're cancelling that deal as well. Yeah, just get out of town. But when we started off, we was odds on relegation. We're now up to 16th. We was we was 19th, I think it was, or 18th, something around that area. We've now moved up a couple of places. Manchester City still dominate. Absolute domination of the uh, Dream Eleven. And if we look at our players, you've got to scroll Adam Ida and Lodi. Again, Lodi. There he is, yet again. Renan Lodi. The boy. The beast that he is. Why would we sell him? We're not going <laughs> to. Simple as that. But dynamics and squad depth now. Goalkeeper. Three and a half star goalkeeper. Right back hasn't been addressed. But we're going to go with Aaron's because Aaron's again got inducted in. Ida. You know, the, the strikers are looking pretty good. Out wide. It's looking pretty strong as well. Defenders, look, Lodi, there he is, three and a half star. Midfielders. The whole midfield is three and a half stars, right through the whole midfield. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We are training to do a 4-1, a 4-1, four, one, a four, one, four, one, if you want to call it that way. Sort of. But tactics and all that, you know, we're we're sort of looking at these formations really. So we've got the the four one three two narrow. We've also got our centre back one. I'm probably going to change that. I don't know yet. We'll see. And then we've got the four one four one or four one or four three three four three three. Let's call it. <laughs> it sounds a bit easier, doesn't it? But looking at it. With our dynamics as well, team cohesion is good after that season. Aaron's is now a team leader as well. He's got to play. <laughs> we spent all that money on him. We've got to make him great. Club atmosphere, very good. Managerial support, very good. What more have I got to say, boys and girls? It is looking beautiful. What a season this could be. Or what an absolute disaster it could be. Team cohesion's looking good. All that sort of thing's looking fine. Can we beat second season syndrome? Get those S's rolling. My goodness me. But please do like, subscribe and get notified. We'd love to have more of you around. Get your friends and family involved. Please do. And comments down below. What do you think? How have we done? Has that transfer window been good for you? I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing and we'll be back for the first game of the season. See you soon. Goodbye.